Hello, my friends. Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth. War in last episode, we began the end sections of the last case of the game, Turnabout Ablaze, and today we will be continuing them in what I hope is the last section of the game. I I can't imagine it going any further than this, but I've been proven wrong before, so let's just let's just see what happens. I can't believe it, sir. Extraterritoriality. Yes, and there is nothing we can really do about that. In the end, we didn't have enough authority to bring him to justice. I can't believe that even though we know he's the boss, we can't lay a finger on him! I know. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor. Sorry to skip out on you, but I got something- Oh no, please go! Go do whatever the hell you want! Just don't do it next to me! Please, please, leave. Leave. Thank you, goodbye now. If we can't even give him an evil guy a slap like- uh, If we can't even give an evil guy like him a slap on the wrist, then what that poor Lord Allah's created for? What can I say? Hey? If the law can't help us, then I'll go as the other girl and take care of this myself! Don't you dare! Mr. Edgeworth! Sorry, that was a bit too harsh. I know how you feel, sir. I'm trying to take on an ambassador, after all. And he did tell us early to get out of the theater. This is kind of their country, I guess. But I feel like I've been slapped across the face for just doing my job. What am I going to do? Should I retreat for now and formulate a better plan of attack? Come on, everyone! We can't give up yet! Okay. I want you to think about something for a second. We never let up for even a second, and as long as we don't stop investigating, we might find the rotten treasure in here. She, she's right! Come on, Mr. Edgeworth! You're right, Kay. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, and I want to go to bed, but sure, let's look for one missing piece of evidence that I'm sure we definitely overlooked. Because we always seem to overlook it. But anyway, let's reopen the investigation and see what we can find. Come on, Kay. Right behind you! Okay, and I'll go check out Bubble a bit more, sir. I, what, I thought you didn't have permission to do that. And I have something that I need to investigate further enough. I thought... What, did you not... I thought you didn't have permission to do this! What? Now then. Before I gather any more information, I should do a bit of housekeeping. Okay. I... I've also almost seemed agitated over something. Oh, really? I, I wonder if it's because, you know, we're about- we're uh, really close to proving that he's the ringleader behind everything. Could that have something to do with it? Hmm. Me- me thinks that might be it. I wonder why! There are two special circumstances that surround the ambassador. First, the embass embassy himself has extraterritorial rights. Then something happens on Abbasian soil, we are unable to legally prosecute him. Cool! Doesn't the ambassador is the perfect place to steal whatever you want! And murder the Master Second, run a smuggling operation, and make- and make counter this apparently. Yes, you apparently use the embassy's coupon printing press to do it. Okay. Great. Uh, n now what? But it's the same story over there anyway. Babylon also has extra territorial rights, which brings me to my next. The rights are effective even in our own country. Really? Not what happens, they can never be tried in our courts. It pertains to very special rights indeed. Basically, no matter what wrongs we may commit, we can't bring up the trial here. Things really don't stand a chance, do we? Hmm. We might stand a chance if we can somehow notify either of one of the special rights. Okay, well, let's go see if we can connect those two pieces of logic together. Oh, I completely forgot we had this! Oh, well, hang, hang on a second. In that case, that makes perfect sense. Because as soon as, soon as they, they start renovating the embassy, they, they're gonna have to hide the stuff that he used. We know that the counterfeit bills were printed using the embassy's press, but the necessary materials for the single paper must have been hidden in a secure location. Yeah, exactly. What do you think would have happened if the revenue had begun? Well, probably had to find a bit of hindsight to get rid of it all! Right, so we can assume that the revelation was the cause of the plate in this disposal, and the reason Mr. Coachman was killed was the ringleader of the smuggling operation. Based on, based on what we know, who do you think was the one with the most to gain? Gee, I wonder who it could be! It's the one person who has been erasing all evidence of the smuggling operation. From both embassies, the co-conspirator who was mopping up Ambassador Alba. Ambassador Alba had a very strong motive to kill Manny Coachman, and I wonder if that's the thing that he was agitated about. Among other things, but, you know. The cause of Ambassador Alba's agitation, the rotten treasure we may find, and the motive for killing Mr. Coachin. Miss Yu said it herself that she didn't kill anyone tonight. If we were to take her words as face, as face value, then the reason for the Ambassador's nervousness could be could only be one thing. He didn't want us to discover the real circumstances under which Mr. Coachin was killed. Then you mean Ambassador Alba's the real killer? But I thought the two of them were friends! Maybe they were, but what if Mr. Coachin was the one to be first betray their friendship? Oh, I get it! Was Mr. Coachin pushing really hard for Mr. Pagliano? To be ambassador after the re Red Unification? Yes, and that was the real reason why he wanted to steal Emmett Abbas Primadou's statue. So Mr. Coachin hired the ambassador second to go steal it for him! But when Ambassador Alba found out what he was up to, we killed Mr. Coachin? It's definitely a possibility at this point. Yes, you really weren't thinking of knowing but themselves. But the question is now is, how did he do it? Ambassador Alba was an Albas, but Mr. Coachin's body was discovered in Babel, right? Right, and that is what we must solve next. Okay, well, what do we want to look at? What do we want to look at first? This I don't remember seeing this here before. 
This was taken just before the two ambassadors just gave their bouquets to the Steel Samurai. Wait, is it just my imagination? Or something in this picture that I've seen before? Uh, is there something that we've seen before? Uh, I mean, I mean, we've seen, we, we've seen we've seen it's the Steel Samurai before. We've seen um, the two ambassadors before, but I, I'm guessing that's not what they're talking about. So what have we? S wait, oh, oh, wait a minute. You know what? Uh, yep, that's what it is. Okay, so you see this right here. Take a look at this. Memorize it. All right. Now let's go look at the photo again, and look at that, right there, hidden among the yellow flowers. I think we may have found, can I deduce it? Okay, well if I can't deduce it, then we'll examine it. It appears to be a bouquet of Persian cyclamens uh, cycl and roses. Wow, you know the exact species? I never would have figured you were an expert on flowers. Mm, it's, uh oh, it's still gonna be a sun like some little botanist. Um, what exactly is this yellow flower here? Hmm, that one, I'm not sure. What, you don't know? As far as I can recall, I've never seen a flower like this before. But I think I've seen the shape somewhere before. Yep, uh, we've seen it before. Yes, yeah, so it's connected. It's connected to the knife. But bubble slash is symbol is that butterfly, and Albus is the flower. It would appear that someone is employing the old hide a tree in a forest trick. What are you mumbling yourself about? Wait, what? The handle is like ah! Yes, it's the handle that was supposed to be on the blade that killed Mister Coaching. But uh, in this very cool investment, and that would be how he smuggled it over to Babel. Very clever. Carcass Alba. Mm -hmm. The flower motif. Looks like one of the flower petals is missing. Ooh. Oh! And take a look at the weapon itself. It's missing the exact same. Wait a minute. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? I just realized something. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Ah, uh, my brain. This case. Okay. So what I just you made me wonder what I just realized, right? Well, why would something be missing? I just went. Why would something be missing from the petals in this knife? These look familiar to you at all? Because I don't know why I didn't put I don't know why I didn't put this together until just now. But um, this guitar pick looks oddly similar to these patterns. Oh boy. Okay. The knife in this video was definitely the same as the murder weapon. Okay. I believe we now understand why the ambassador Albus is nervous and agitated. It must have something to do with where Mr. Cochin was killed. A place where the ambassador Albus was was likely to meet the Balbalis of Mr. Cochin. The place where Ambassador Albus happened to have to, happened to have committed the murders could it be the Theatrum Neutralis, also known as the place in which there it's not either part of Albus or Babel, and therefore we actually have the grounds to prosecute him on? Could it be that? The only place that makes sense here is here, the Theatrum Neutralis. What? Here? The Goodwill event was being held here today, correct? So the only place that the both of them would have... Uh, ah, that the both of them would have had... Uh, ah, blah. One of the places the both of them would have been is here. I can't speak. But if that's the case, and everything changes. The Theatrum is actually Albastia land. So that wipes out one of the extra territory rights he has. It ma makes logical sense, in which case there's a reason for us to investigate further. So let's check out. Let's see. I believe we should check the immigration records for both Al Albastia and Babel post-haste. I wonder if they will allow us to see the records, despite the order to vacate. I'm already one step ahead of you, Miles Edgeworth. Francisco, I appear in the security footage in both Albus and Bowel. You would do well to take a look at its contents. Security footage data... Okay. You move fast. Avant Karma strives to be perfect in every way. It's not in my nature to keep on retreating like this. I took the liberty of looking over the Babel investigation reports as well. From now on, you will make no excuse to back down or say that we can't solve this case. Hmm, I'm sorry about earlier. We won't be beaten, because my cute little subordinate is going to try his very best, isn't he? Hasn't she patronized me enough already for a lifetime? So this video contains footage from our boss immigration screening area. I really hope there's something in there we can use! Um, I'm gonna go with this one. You wanna know why you should go with this one? Because, uh, what would you say the odds are that the thing that's kind of bulging up in that little box right there would be the dead body of Mr. Manny Cochin? Hmm? Makes sense to me. I'm guessing we have to examine this. Does something about this lump 
Sh Shrek was old. Huh? Isn't it supposed to be this shape? No, there is clearly something odd about the bulge. If only we had the push card itself, we could compare that and confirm my hunch. Which, of course, we're not gonna get, but, you know. Next one, let's check this footage from Bobble Security Camera. I'm gonna show you something good! Bowie! It wasn't a single sign of recipe's person or anything! But right there is the contradiction. Huh? Did I miss something? You didn't miss anything because there was nothing to miss. However, what is missing is the image of Mr. Coach entering his own country. What's his body found in Babel? It would appear that the true face of our final puzzle has finally revealed itself. Investigation complete. Okay, can we end this now, please? Come on, bring, bring on bring on Kilkis Albuff. We'll, we'll cross him in one more time, and then we'll end this case. I thought I'd asked for you and your group to make you the premises, Mr. Edgeworth. Actually, I thought I should let you know that this theater sits on my country's soil. You've had your fun, and I've enjoyed our little game. I dare say you've even achieved a new high score. However, what? Why do you understand what I'm saying to you? Your game is done, and it's game over. No. Objection! Where do you think you're going at this time of night? After admitting to my crime, I was overcome with regret. Uh-huh. So I'm heading to the airport, or now return home. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. There, there are still too many issues we need to discuss with you. You can't stop me, Mr. Edgeworth, and you know it. Ugh. Uh, what voice would I give you? Please, may I have a little bit of your time, Ambassador Alba? Ambassador Pagliano, even just a teeny bit is fine with me. The already strained relationship between our countries is in a precarious situation, you know. Very well, if you insist. I will play just one more round with them and see what they want. Not that they'll get any farther. Ambassador Pagliano. Mr. Edgeworth, all I wish is for the normalization of relationships between our two countries. But there is one person sitting in the way of that dream. I... I am leaving you. You'll do what's right. Thank you for your vote of confidence. Now then, what was it you wanted to ask me about? I do have a flight to catch after all, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to limit you to just one question. That's more than I'd want, enough, because I only have one question anyway. I want to hear your alibi about how you couldn't have killed Mr. Manicotion. Oh, I see. You seem to have a good hand this time around. This should be fun. This really is the very last chance we have to bring him down. Okay, I think I think this is the end. I think this one's gonna be the finale. I think this is gonna be the finale. Because it's all been building up to this. We have the evidence, we're gonna shut him down, and then that'll be it. Okay. I won't even allow even an atom size contradiction to slip by. I usually don't. Okay. But I still don't understand why I'm being placed in suspicion here. Under your hypothetical scenario, Mr. Coach and I were fellow smugglers, but to get to the point I was in our best the whole time. So it's simply not possible we don't kill them in Babel. That is my alibi. I... So that is your alibi. That's correct. It's simply not possible for me to have committed a crime in Babel. Let's be clear that I would appreciate if you would move out of my way. I said hold it. What is it this time? Hmm. You did. But you still have yet to really answer my bottom question. Until you tell us the truth, I will refuse to budge an inch from where I'm standing. Hmm. Very well. I'll play with you just a little longer. Miles Edgeworth. You are forbidden to lose. Of course, that is something I've understood from the start. That's that guy's the one who ordered my father killed, isn't he? Yes, I believe so. The goal of the first Yanagrasa was to capture the smuggling rings later. My father and Uncle Brad, their legacy will live on through me. So that's why we've just got to catch him, okay? We will, I promise. Now, Ambassador Alba, let's have out the truth now, shall we? No matter how many times you ask, my eyes are always remains the same. Okay, there didn't seem to be any hour contradictions, so I'm just gonna start pressing stuff. Alright, we'll start with you. Being the leader of a smuggling ring while taking on the duties of ambassadorship, don't you think that the combination is more than enough reason for suspicion? Then there is the matter of the crossbow levels and the premium two statues. I think it's the first time I've heard him say objection. Oh, that is nothing more than your flights of fancy. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? And you have that us now? Okay, let's just, just keep pressing things until something works. It's all a hypothesis. Earlier we proved it to what be what happened. Ha 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 ha. We'll leave that one to the side for now, because it doesn't change the fact that I have no motive. Oh, so you really had no motive? If you want to suppose I had one, why not I'll build you? Even if that's how you see things, I'd appreciate if you would take me seriously. Very well, a game is no fun at the playing at level. Therefore, I formally claim that I had no motive to kill. Now let's see you disprove it. How can he stand there looking proud when he knows he killed another human being? I'm not going to stand by and just watch him get away with his crimes. 
In that case, what motive would I have to- Uh, I have a bit of an idea of what you- of what motive you might have had. Remember that little note we found? Where's the note? Here's the note. Um, the requ- you know, the request to steal the Primudu statue and replace it with the other one. So, um, methinks this would be your motive right here. If you want to know, I believe you did have a motive to kill. It was because Mr. Cochin had betrayed you, but you had your own reason too, namely you wanted to pin the smuggling all on him. If it, if it gets evil, and because you were trying to test each other, it turns into this mess. I don't believe this. You have to bad you for telling tall tales, Mr. Prosecutor. And if you're not, then I suppose you have some sort of proof to support your argument. I never used guesswork in whipping my cases forward. It has been proven that this note was written by Mr. Cochin's hand, so we'll take a look at it. The content of this note is a request calling for the theft of Abbas Prime's previous statue. Hmm. By killing him and pushing all the guilt from the smuggling onto him, you walk away spotless. I believe you understand what I'm driving at. You had more than a few reasons to kill him. Are you finished with your hypothesizing? Excuse me. Let's suppose I did have a motive. Even so, I'm whatever earth that alone can't kill. Isn't that right? I didn't expect him to resort to playing the semantics game with me. It appears that this is where the real battle will begin. That's if you will excuse me. What? Wait. I told you by beginning that you only get one question. Ugh. Ambassador Alba, if you could please just give us a little bit more of your time. It doesn't matter what kind of many madman subordinate was, man, man it was, he was my subordinate. Which is why I would like for us to figure out the real cause of his death. That is something for Babel to figure out, and something which I have no relation to. Now he's been turning down our quest from Ambassador to Pagliano. I'm very sorry, but it seems that even my voice falls in deaf ears. That is no need for you to apologize, Ambassador Pagliano. Oh, we must, fi must find some way to stop him from leaving. Since there are no further rejections, in that case, please allow me to return home. Hold it right there, Ambassador Alba! Okay. Like I said, Mr. Edgeworth, the Anagrass's legacy will live on through me! Yes, but how do you suggest we stop him from leaving? You just leave that to me! Ambassador Alba, do you recognize this? No. Why should I recognize that tattered little organizer? Wait. Why have I seen that before? This is that is a clue my father, Mr. Burn Faraday, left for us. Did you say burn Faraday? Mr. Faraday's organizer, don't tell me this is the one from the second KG8 incident. The one in which he wrote about the Yonagrasso's key? Yes! The organizer belonged to the prosecutor you had Miss you killed seven years ago! I have no idea what you're talking about. You say that the was a lady to me. And tell the organizer, he wrote up every detail of every evil thing you did! What an amusing little girl you are, but that sort of trickery won't work on me. If you don't believe me, take a look at this! What is that toy there? Well, oh, that's... This demon device was used by the Anagrasu, or rather, by my father! Seven years ago, he used this when he snuck into this embassy! What? These pieces of evidence hold old information on the Anagrasu stack up on you! If you go home now, I want this to be sent in all the Albas right behind you! Little girl, we'll get to the point. I want you to go up against Mr. Edgeworth one more time! If you win, then I'll hand over these pieces of evidence! Yanagarasu, give her the thorn to my side. Okay, does that organizer really contain any information on his dirty dealings? It's nothing case breaking, really. Ah, oh, then it was just a bluff. Even if it was, we can't, we still can't let all the info my father and Uncle Bad found go to waste. Plus, let's see if this is the little thing was troublesome enough for him. Those two pieces, aren't those the keepsakes of your father? It's okay! I believe in Mr. Edgeworth. He'll come out on top in the end. Okay. When the going gets tough, someone's gotta be there to put the wind back in your sails. After all this time, you're still quite the feisty one. I applaud your powerful nature. Credit where it's due. This case is being stretched out until it like snaps in half. But the the character development between everybody, like all the main characters, Edgeworth, Francisca, Kay, Gumshoe, even Larry to some extent, that's all strong. It's just they could have shortened this so much. Ambassador Alba, you won't be returning home until you give us further testimony. How dare you all, bring a per bring a person like me. Ambassador Alba, your testimony, if you please. Alright, but this is the absolute last. Then, even if you use all the power of Ambassador Pagliano's office, you won't stop me. I can't let this opportunity case created for me get a waste. Don't worry, we won't. Alright. Alba's by part two. Last time I met when Mr. Cochin was here at the theater to neutral us. After that, I was in Elbass the rest of the time, as I stated earlier. In any case, I did not see Mr. Cochin again after that. So you see, there was no time spent in which I can- Yes, there is! You- you- that we have photographic proof that there is, though! What do you mean? Now, since you people were practically begging, I'll allow you to question me. 
Well, there you go, man. Yes, but no matter. We have a lot of chance to escape us. I will warn you, though. You've reached the end of my patience. Waste my time and any in questions, and you will be punished. So, any need is pressing or presenting will cost more to our case. In that case, the only thing you can do is to present the correct evidence, understood? Of course, I don't intend to let them intimidate me. I know Mr. Coach was killed before he returned to Babel, in which case there is only one statement which, to which I need to present the evidence. Uh, this is... okay. We have literal photographic proof that there is very much a time in which you could have killed him. Objection! I'd like you to take a look at this picture. It's a rather nice picture, isn't it? It was to commemorate the restoration of relations between our nations. It was commemorative, all right. One that captures the proof I needed to show it was you who committed the murder. Come again! This is the life of the kid, Mr. Coaching. I see you'll re recognize it, as, as well you should, for it was you who brought it to the theater. You did it in the month, meaning that you killed Mr. Manny Coaching here at the theater. Uh, it's time for me to catch my flight. Objection. We're not through yet. It's game over for you, Mr. Edgeworth, but I thank you for the entertainment. No matter how passionately you were, the end result will still be the same. I will return to this country ever again. That's right. The man is an ambassador, and he has extraterritorial rights. No matter how hard we chase after him, he won't be able to ever. We, have, we won't be able to have him try to court. Yes, exactly. The other face you should be making. That makes him a worthless cur. <laughs> now, then, ladies and gentlemen, I bid you farewell. Okay, I'm. Is this really the end? Oh God, is Lang really gonna be the one to save the day? Uh, okay, also I'm getting really sick of the whole. Oops, I gotta go. Wait, no objection. Hold it. Let's do a to go tit for tat. Oh, no, looks like I gotta go. Wait, no, take that. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, you failed. Gotta go. And then we could do the same song and dance over and over again until eventually I get sick of it. So I keep you waiting, Mr. Prosecutor. Oh, trust me, I was very, I was fairly content to wait a long time to see you again. Get out of my way. My plane is scheduled to take off soon. Sorry, but you're not going anywhere, Mr. Alba. I'm through playing games with you people. You can't touch me. If you do, it would speak to an international incident, is your name? Sorry, but no, it wouldn't. What? Hey, Mr. Prosecutor. Good job holding the foot down here until they get back. Hmm? So, Mr. Alba, your diplomatic immunity has just been revoked. What do you mean, revoked? Zlingzi says before aiming for the throat, chew the next shield off first. Interpol headquarters in the Imperial Household of the Kingdom of Albas. Took a while to get things rolling, but they finally moved on it. The Imperial Household? You, what have you done? You have been relieved of your duties as ambassador, Mr. Alba. What? Whoa. Whoa. What? Effective today, effective right now. And you have Mr. Prosecutor's videotape to thank for this. The video of the autographs are protected! You can't be arrested simply because you're an ambassador. In that case, without stripping you of that title, you underestimated me for thousands and four thousand years of deeply entrenched connections and networks around the world have really paid off. It can't be, I don't believe this. My ambassadorship has been revoked. <laughs> Whoa! Looks like he's turned docile again! He's probably in a shock from the loss of his shield. Hmm, <clears throat> what a shame. I had so wanted to use my whip on him. Why is this happening to me? I'm just a hard-working, honest ambassador. Do you really think you can still pull it on us now? We have already ripped away the mask and seen who you are. Really are, Mr. Elba. Oh, is this the end? Final breakdown? I think it's the final breakdown. Oh, sh come on. We're still going at it? Oh, okay. You still intend to fight? Yeah, my thoughts exactly. So what if I'm no longer? So what if I'm no longer? So what if I'm no longer an ambassador? You still don't have any evidence on me. The fact remains, you cannot arrest me. Heh. <laughs> I expect the best from you, the boss, the smuggling ring. Well. This is up to you, Mr. Prosecutor. Dude, you're like, I I've helped that enough. I've I've checked off my helping Mr. Edgeworth quarter for the day. I'ma I'm just go now. Bye. What a prick. <laughs> you say I killed Mr. Cochin in the theater, but even if it's true that there was a knife in my bouquet, 
I left that bouquet in the theater, so anyone could have taken it out there from there and used it, right? Besides, the claims that he was killed here in itself is odd. After all, wasn't his body discovered? Well, yeah, you moved him with the stupid cart in the video. No, I'm, I'm I'm claiming you shoved his body in a cart, covered him with a blanket, and moved him across. I'll be the one to prove whether it's preposterous or not. Ex, Ex Ambassador Alba, are you ready? Because this is no game. This is war. Oh Jesus Christ, we're still going. Have Alba's Alba's Alibi Part Three. Yay! I killed Mr. Coach in this theater using a knife that stuck in my bouquet. That the bouquet in the theater. Anyone could have taken the knife from there. You you already said all this. You already said all this, and it's all bullshit. I don't think you've had enough fun with me. You've already stolen my ambassadorship from me. Would you have me surrender to? It certainly make things easier. You have no plans to ever return to this country, isn't that right? Did you know that a bunch of your subordinates are seeking asylum because of you? As if I care. Hey, Mr. Brusker, put this guy out of the embassy, and we can finally end everything. I knew, and I will give it my all to see that he leaves in handcuffs. Without the title of ambassador, he's just another witness. Yes, just another witness. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get this guy. I, I, we're waiting for the case to end at this point. And get him good. I wonder if they understand that all I, that I, all I can do is present evidence to the testimony. Oh boy, okay. So, there's no possible way for you to have moved the body, huh? I call bullshit. And the thing is, my voice sounds like... The, the, the same it did at the end of the turnabout big top case, I'm just like, okay, yeah, Max is a shithead, everyone's an idiot, this case sucks, moving on. My, my voice here is more just like, I'm over it. Like, I, this case feels so drawn out for no reason. Like, it, it's all logically consistent, it all makes sense, the characters are all well done, it's just, the pacing is so agonizingly slow. It's like, why did they, they... They could have shortened this so much. Actually, I do believe there was a way to transport the body out of the theater. Perhaps you give this a look. What is that? What is, what is that supposed to be? It's footage from a security camera that captured the state of the immigration area. Should I congratulate you on getting your hands on it? Just letting you know that we're not the only ones watching you every moment. Hmm, thank you for the warning. Now, if you could take a good look at this section here. The lump here inside the pushcart. Do you know what's causing it? Should I? Because I don't. Hmm. In that case, allow me to enlighten you. This is the cause of the unnatural lump under the cloth in the pushcart. It's like the unnatural bolt in the pushcart is Mr. Coaching's body. Who had to still semi wheel his body away from the real crime scene? What I guess. But I wonder if you have any evidence to support it. I admit that for now, but it's but a hypothesis, however. Ah! I don't have any more time to play with you people. Sir, 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 sir! Gummy! Is that, is that the steel sunrise push card? Yes, sir! I found it in the open air, open air stage area. So that's where you went. The detective spirit that Bob's member left, left me with? I thought I'd follow my gun to go with it, sir! So, Mr. Edgeworth, is this where that is the case? Yes. I just might play a little major role in solving this case today. We just have to check the inside for blood, and if there's blood there, then boom, your whole, your whole alibi just went up in smoke. But something isn't right. I thought that the entire samurai family was an Albus. Where exactly in the open-air stage area did you find this pushcart? I found it just lying there at the edge of the stage, sir. Oh? Let's leave that for now and examine the inside detective. Yes, sir! Alright, let's look for... Ooh, look at that! Evidence! Hmm. It's blood! This must be Mr. Coachman's blood. It only goes to prove that Mr. Coachman's body was indeed transported by this pushcart. I believe you understand what this means, correct? You killed Mr. Coachman at this theater and then placed his body inside the pushcart. And then... You forced the steel samurai to unwittingly move the body for you. I forced him to move the body into Albast. What nonsense? Why would I bother to do such a thing? You were scheduled to make a speech in Albas, and it was difficult for you to make a stop on Babal. However, what if you moved the body to Albas? Because it was your embassy, you could keep an eye on it and tap all the evidence, and then you smuggled it out of Albas. No! If I can show you how you moved the, the body from Albas to Babal, then I win. But you can't. The security between the two countries is incredibly tight. I'll be the one to judge whether I can prove whether I can or cannot prove it, and so I ask you to provide with this testimony regarding your movements after you return to Albas. 
Miles Edgeworth. Have you figured it out? Do you know how that body was moved? To be honest, I have nothing to support my hypothesis at this time. However, I don't believe I'm making a mistake in my logical mind to this point. Which means... There's no question that can't be answered, right? The Primadu statue was smuggled successfully through a bleep fright through the, through the air. So why shouldn't there be an answer as to how the body was moved? Which means that there must be a logic flaw somewhere I can exploit. Oh god, we're still going. After, after, after I returned to the office, I had my picture taken with a still samurai shaking hands. Okay, mm there's some suspicion about that photo. As I was about to start my speech, the other Kamasu appeared. How convenient. I buried my national treasure, so I raced back to my office. That's it? That's the whole thing? Yes, that's all. Objection. It looks like you left a few things out, such as the murder of Damas II. Furthermore, you left out the part about meeting with me in your office. Ah, those trifling matters. I don't believe I need to speak of those things again. I do so hate to waste time. What? You. Is not every life precious? Do you really need me to answer that for you? People like you cannot be allowed to wander freely through society. Then you better try hard, because I doubt you'll find a single contradiction. The thing is, he's he's right. Yes, he is. I can be so confident at a time like this. Come, don't be shy. Go ahead and ask whatever you like. I didn't... I didn't see anything there. So I'm just gonna have to press everything until something pops up. So why was it only with... So why was it only with the Steel Summer? I thought the Pink Princess was also around. The Pink Princess was suffering from a bad hip at the time. And the doctors recommended she rests. Wow! So you was outside after all! The pain of a bad hip. Suppose none of, I, I suppose none of you can really understand how it feels. Oh! So you're gonna strain your back as well, huh? Doesn't that just because you're normally all hunched over? He did need to keep the up the act no matter what it's to do. Hmm. The point of this is not to discuss my back problems. For over 15 minutes after our hands, I was in my office preparing for the speech. And yeah, okay, just keep pressing. Something's gotta pop up. The other girls was just a trick that you had set up. Uh, uh, most amusing joke. How do you propose I set it up? If you really want to know, I can explain it in detail for you. Your range, yeah, we are, we already know how you set it up. You know, I don't need to hear it again. Oh, that's an interesting tale. So at least nothing to do with me. You must have gone and take for you to fess up to anything. Mm -hmm. After the other guys who appeared, what was the state of the Rose Garden? Everyone took refuge inside the MC. I even helped with the effort. And then once everyone was inside, well. Fear of the National Treasure, she raced back to my office. Okay, and along the way... And what happened after you returned to your office? I don't want to keep on repeating this, however. Upon my return, I had that stroke of bad luck and bumped into the Masked Man. Objection. And I don't want to keep repeating on this either, but... His name was Damas II. Hmm, who cares what he was called? By the time he got to the Primitive Statue, he was supposed to steal. And it had already been swapped for the fake. Talk about an unlucky man. Being bludgeoned to death with a fake statue. <laughs> I thought our car was really letting a whip fly now! Eee! She must have be at the limit of her patience as well. Oh, trust me, the, my patience limit is about to snap any second now. The physical attacks are meeting this here. Only evidence will suffice. Uh, I can't fly a, find a single flawless argument. At this rate, I won't be able to prove that he is actually guilty of anything. Are you finally finished here? Miles Edgeworth, can you not come up with how the body was moved to Babel? I don't... Uh, what? Okay, what have, what have we overlooked? My, my, my brain is fried from this. And it, it, it's not because I've been thinking super hard about the case. It's just because I'm just sick of it. It's like this has gone on for way too long. Way, way too long. Okay, let's, 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 try, to, let's try to actually think about this. How, how could they have moved the body from one spot to the other? So, previously, like the... The statues were moved. What's that photo? Here's yeah, so the so the photos were moved across. Okay. I, I'm guess I'm assuming that it, it has to be something similar to this, right? It had to have been near here. It's the only thing that makes sense. Is for the, I, I I don't imagine that the that it was moved via the zip line because that doesn't make any sense. But it has to be something in this general area when the, around the time the distraction was happening. Oh, okay. What? I have no idea. I have actually no idea. Sir! Mr. Edgeworth! You don't have to prove me so much as you want to get away with it. Oh, don't you start freaking out. You did jack shit. Is this the end? I really want it to be.
This is gonna be Larry. It'd be great honor if you would love us to beat your fellows in battle! Evil Magistrate, it is time for you to pay! It's a Steel Samurai! No, you're mistaken, for I am! Steel Samurai Daddy, Mermaid of Neo Tokyo! And this is. Big Princess Mommy! Eggy, Eggy Pooh! Ooh! <laughs> the two people I wanted to see the least! Larry, what are you two doing here? And what do you have. What? Why are you showing your gratitude, Eggy? We just wanted to help! Yeesh! Let me get the bag out with a single dose of my Samurai Spirit! You mean the one that you bent? Go away! <laughs> I'm gonna be so mean to us, Edgy Boo. I'll throw you as getting the lead to hand. This is how you treat us. Well, isn't this grand? And I see they managed to find the Iron Infant. Does that really matter right now? Hey! Is this me or is the Iron Infant completely soaked? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I found him in the battle, but he was in the middle of the pool. Wait a second. Let me go back to what you just said. Huh? Oh, it appears that we made it. Not that far back. <laughs> Something about finding the Iron Infant in Babel. And you found it in a pool? Don't recall it being one in Babel. Oh, that! Well, I was in Elvis the whole time, so I have no idea how that I'm- Wait, so you threw it into the- Oh! Oh! That's it! That- that's it! Okay! Okay, wait a minute, wait, 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 um... Found spouts. Found spouts. Auto refills the water when the water level's too low. Okay. Okay. That's the explanation right there. Alright. So. Here's the theory. There's a- there, There's a a, a- a pipe- this pipe's connected underneath- um, underneath the ground that connects, uh, that connects the pool on the Albastian side to, I don't know, like, they are, maybe a water reservoir over on, on the Babbly side, that, that, some, something like that, something that, something that has a water source that can, that, that it can connect to, something, just, that's all it needs to be, what, the, the semantics of it is irrelevant, and you may, you may, you may be thinking to yourself, Wait, but how could a body have sunken all the way down to the water and then flown through? I'll tell you how. Because the fire. That's the the fires. The one of the reasons why they started those fires was to force the water to drain from the pool, which would cause the body to sink down, go to the other side, and then what they when they when they go to pick up the body, they um what what they do is these final spots auto refill the water when the wall is too low so that it resets back to normal. They can float to the top of the body, and that's it. Right? And actually, wait, let me look at that pig one more time. It's also wet for some reason. It's also wet for some reason. This is a part of the knife, and this is how the knife was smuggled across across borders as well. Boom! Gotcha. I thought I lost him in the Rose Garden, but I guess maybe this cute kid can swim, huh? Wait, what? Larry, you lost your orange in the Rose Garden. Are you, are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. But I found him in. That's enough, Larry. The Iron Infant that Larry and Nelson managed to move between the two countries. Furthermore, the Iron Infant was found soaked in the middle of the pool. This is what I've been looking for. The key to the route the Iron Infant took to travel is the bilateral symmetry of the buildings. Oh, that's right. This embassy was built with bilateral symmetry in mind. Check the Yeah, Yes, sir! There's a location for which I you, uh, for, I wish for you to examine post haste. It is why I believe the route to, used to smuggling Mr. Coton's body lies. That's something like they really exist, sir. And then we built up a lot of some meaning that this is where we need to examine on the other side of the pool. Yes, sir. I'm back before you know it. It's too late. It doesn't matter now what you do. It's all a waste of time. You will stay here with us and wait. This is Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth, it's here, sir! There's a water spot. Yup! That's what I thought! Just as I suspected. What is it? The two sides of the embassy are mirror images of each other, which means that there was also a pool with the corresponding location on the Babbly side. This equation spot was moved into Babble through the pool of Nabas. Avoid the topic with a big answer like this, I'm unbecoming of a prosecutor. If you don't mind, I'd like to see what physical proof you have any. Oh, well, we got plenty of that. The Iron Infant is possibly soaked in water. What do you think that is? It's because he was fished out of a pool, and not just any pool, it was the Babylonese one. I think it's pretty obvious at this point what must be true. The water reservoirs of the two courtyards are connected. Objection. Where is your proof that the two sides are connected? Objection. The proof is right there before your eyes. The half drowned Iron Infant. Oh. The. This blasted doll. Oh. 
Mr. Edgeworth, I'm back! Hey, don't tell me you guys figured everything out without me. We did, thanks to the hero of the Justice's son. Even if he was just a doll, he managed to help foil the villain. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, look, I know what to say this, but it's kind of unlucky the body just having the path passed on through the babble. This guy's a doll, and he smells, so I can believe he made it, but... That's the point. <laughs> that's that's right, I'm glad someone here understands. Mr. Edgeworth, are you going to protect the pros that body and swim through a pipe? You see, Mr. Prosecutor, are far from over. Is it lying? Why is he yelling Mr. Alba out now? Because he's an idiot. He's not. He realizes the flaw in the argument is helping to move the logic along. In which case, I shall return the favor and find an answer. And another thing, Mr. Cogent's body was found in his office in Babel. So what happened to his body after he was transported to the open air stage? I believe I explained both of those things already. Hmm. Mr. Alba, Alba has an accomplice in Babel, remember? You mean, she know, right? With her there, you, see, you can see how I was supposed to move the body up to the office. Are you seriously claiming that she swam through the connecting pipe with the body? He's right! It's hard to imagine that she swam through the connecting pipe. What's the care about this is about how the body was moved? It's only half baked. In the end, it's all just a befuddle of musings of an accusatory ban. Now then, I believe you should have given up an allow passage. Because from the start, there was no feasible method of transporting the body. What? Mr. Prosecutor recalls Sheena's movements. What was happening in the embassy around the time Mr. Sheena was in Babel? Oh, there was only a way to get rid of the water in the pool. Get rid of the water. Aha, that's it. Nope, we are not done. Hmm, unfortunately for you, it's far from over, Mr. Alba. You're a most persistent man. Are you saying that you've thought of a way to move the body through the water? Move the body through the water? That's completely unrelated to how it was done. Excuse me, the reason I say that is because there wasn't any water there at the time. What do you mean there wasn't any water? This is what it sounds like. The Knights of made it possible to drain the water, allowing the body to move because of the fires. So like the other grass set fire to a variety of locations of the Babylonian embassy. In order to put the fires out, much of the reservoir's water was used. Of course, when the water was used, the reservoir's water level went down. If enough water was drained... So what? The water level went down? Does that make this matter? You can't prove any of this. Oh, but I can. And I will. Hmm. Pretending to be ignorant won't work with me. We both know what kind of situation we're in right now. Even in a game, there comes a critical game-changing moment. A moment in which you hit a wall that must overcome in order to beat the game. I haven't lost yet. I found the route you used to poke with the body, and that route will lead to your defeat. Even if all the water was used with a firefighting effort, you still can't really call it a smuggling route. Hmm, I knew that. Uh, should have figured that you would notice. Hey, Mr. Alba, how do you with these pools anyway? <laughs> hey, I'll have you know, those pools are extremely deep. And there are no ladders or footholds along the walls either. It would be difficult for Sheena to hold the body and climb out of the pool. Hmm, ladders or footholds along the walls? There's no need for such things. What do you mean? If one were to use a certain something, they could go up or down in the pool at will. Oh, so you already got the answer. Well, we wait for Mr. Prosecutor and lighten us already. The way in which Miss Sheena and the body were able to rise up to ground level, if there was a way to control the water level, that could be the way the body was moved. This was used so that the body of Machina can move up and down in the pool. Mr. Alba used the fountain spouts in a manner of speaking. He used the fountain spouts, how so? The water level in the pools can be controlled by opening and closing the spouts. Machina and the body were lifted upward by their buoyancy in water. The fire on the bubbly side and the firefighting effort. These were set in motion all for the sake of smoking Mr. Cushion's body. Shall I show you where the final ascension of my train of logic leads? First, Mr. Alba closed the fountain spouts in advance, in preparation of things to come. Then he took the push card that was brought to the rose garden, and pushed it along with the iron foot and Mr. Cochin's body into the pool. At this time, she made she then made for the open down stadium's pool to wait for the firefighting of it to begin. When the firefighters used the water in that pool, the water level went down. And by that time the fire was put out, the pipe between the two pools, pools were exposed. This is when she pushed the bushcraft from Albas into Babel. Once that was accomplished, Mr. Alba simply opened the fountain spouts once more. It may have taken us eight goddamn light years to get here, but this was such a clever solution to this puzzle. This was so smart. And the water level goes up to its original level, along with Machina and the body. After that, Miss Sheena used the pushcart to carry the body up to the secretary's office. There was an elephant in the embassy after all, so you see. Even with her small frame, she could have easily transported Mr. Cochin's body, and there were wraps up through my thorough explanation of how the body was moved. Hmm, well, ex well ex Ambassador Alba, what do you think? That 
to a teachable without the precious extraterritorial request to protect you all of you. I knew you could do it, Mr. Edgeworth! Way to fight back! You accuse me of moving the body across country lines, but when you get down to the degree, you still don't have what it takes to indict me. Did any gritty? Proof, I believe is what he speaks. Yes, proof, without any, who is to say whether or not any of what you said really happened? You want to prove? What do you do with Edgeworth? Well, a guitar pick, which is actually not a guitar pick, which is a flower, which comes from the knife, was also wet. The, bl the, bl the body wasn't the only thing to go through the pool's connecting pipes tonight. Just as they could go to find the pushcar in the open sta area, st air stage area, so too did I find one other item there, and that piece of evidence is what will prove that the pools were the smuggling route. This was another thing that smuggled over to Babbles' open air stage area! Take that. And what exactly is this? Hmm, you have no idea, do you? The little piece that I found on the Bobbity side will be your undoing. A guitar pick? A guitar pick? But you can't explain how that is going to do me in, said where much you were chagrin, perhaps, but this is not a guitar pick. Oh, what? This is something I found on the open air stage, which was transported with the body. I naturally assumed that you would recognize it, since you took a photo with it, after all. But since you don't, allow me to fill you on what I found that this stage actually belongs to. Take that. Let's take a good look at the murder weapon that was used to kill many coaching. On the handle of this knife, there was a beautifully blooming flower. However, it would appear that it's missing a single petal. Now, let's see what happens when we try to fit this pick into that open slot. A perfect fit. I assumed that the metal petal must have fallen off the, of the flower during Mr. Coaching's murder, and then it accidentally placed into the pushcart along with Mr. Coaching's body. Hmm. Oh, I assure you it's more than just a story. Because for some odd reason, the flower petal was wet when I found it. It was wet, you say? Yes, and the only place it could have gotten wet from is the open-air stage's pool. Now I ask you, how did the part of the weapon which was smuggled into the theater wind up in the open-air stage area on the property side of the embassy? I don't think I need to waste any words explaining this, as this pedal explains it all for me. It proves that someone... Impossible! The people of Zang Fei have been waiting to see you face to face, Mr. Elba. I'll tell everyone back home we'll be there soon. You should be happy. I... this... why? Why? It's a little late to be asking that question. You should have known from the very beginning, when you took your first life. No matter how you may plot or how you may try to cover it all up, you can never hide from your crime or what you've done, because we're here to see that it is just that justice is so the people like you. You can't go when you've given that perfect Are you kidding me? You know, I don't think this guy's ever gonna admit to his wrongdoing, Mr. Edgeworth, because he values himself by all else. People who can't be negotiated with are people who refuse to remember they've lost. I don't believe those kinds of people really exist because everyone breaks eventually. You're right. And like I said, Nutris would use all of the evidence that I have. I'll use it all until it breaks into the weight of his crimes. Mr. Alba, I request you testify once more. This really will be the end of the line. Oh my god, we're still going! There's another part! Part 3?! There's another episode! What?! But we solved it! We solved the case! What do you mean? Oh. Why? Alba, you're caught! We've. It, 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 you. Oh, there's no room for doubt! There's none! Literally none! We've proven your case to be. We've proven our case to be ironclad! What do you mean? What is there left? What is there left to do? It's oh my god, guys! Just you quit while you're ahead. End it. Just just end it already. What? Uh, okay. All right. This case needs to end quickly. Th thanks for watching. Stay tuned next time to catch you all tomorrow for what I freaking hope is the finale of Ace Attorney Investigations. Miles Edgeworth. Goodbye.